So guys, I'm back at Into Moto, and today I'm on something a little bit different. I've never been on one before. Let's just have a look round. I'll show you exactly what I'm on today. Come on. So this is today's offering. So it is the AJS. So this version is the Tempest Roadster 125. I've never been on an AJS before. Right on cue, the rain's starting. It's the story of my life now, I think, for the next eight months until we see sun again. But let's have a look round the usual way. I'll throw some specs at you as we're going. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the looks of this bike. I think it looks nice to be fair but let me know what you think let's start with the full 360 going round now this has got some proper good old school looks hasn't it with those gaiters on the front forks as well just reminds me of my youth looking at bikes like this can't believe it's took so long for me to get my hands on one This bike is a used bike bargain. So currently up for sale at £2,299. It is a year old, but if you look at how clean it is, and that's a stainless steel exhaust. It's just got a lovely, like, golden colour to it. You know the colour they get once they've got hot a couple of times? But it does look spotless. Lovely spoke wheels, single brake disc at the front, single at the rear, but this has got the combined braking system, the CBS brakes. And I know it's only a year old, but it's just showing that whoever's had this for the last 12 months has looked after it. It's got an air-cooled single cylinder 125cc engine that delivers 9.5 horsepower. Got some nice grab handles at the side. Pillion pegs, looking at those, they've never been used because they're absolutely spotless as well. There's no rub marks on there from someone's feet. It has got the side stand that it's currently on. And there's a centre stand as well. Always needed for me if you've got a bike with a chain drive because it just makes the whole process of cleaning, lubing the chain a lot easier. Top speed, apparently 60 miles an hour. We'll see if we can get that today. A 16 litre fuel tank. And on a 125, that means it will do a million miles. No, maybe not a million miles, but these 125s are very fuel efficient. So for 16 litres, you should get quite a few miles out of that. It has got a five speed gearbox. Seat height on this is 780 millimetres. So for somebody short like myself, five foot eight, 29 inch inseam, I'm flat foot both sides with room to spare, I've got a bend in my knee, so it will suit a shorter rider. And as you can see, it's very easy to just walk with your feet. It does feel nice and light, this bike. So if you're looking for a light bike, that might be an option for you. However, as always, for me, a bike can look great, and this does. It just reminds me of my youth with the looks of it, but it can look great. But if it doesn't ride great, it's a, it's a no for me. However, I don't know yet because I've not ridden it. So let's go for a ride before I get properly wet because I can tell the rain's coming. But let's go for a ride to see what it's like. I like the old school dials. Didn't go through that on the walk round. Well, I do like that. I think it's set. it just suits this style of bike, doesn't it? If you're going to get an old-looking bike, you've got to get the old-looking dials. Otherwise, digital or TFT screen just won't suit it, I don't think. Um, also, the buttons, it's just the industry standard, so I didn't bother. You've just... It's a pretty much no-frills bike, this, as far as your your buttons and gadgets and whatnot but that's the charm of it it's like an old school looking bike just bike and rider you've not got loads of stuff to play with however 
<laughs> Sounds quite nice. And what have we got? Old school Mickey Mouse ears as well. Oh, let's see. Little turn in circle. Turn in circles, not too bad. Looking at that. Doing it quickly to get out of the way of the car. But spinning round nice and easily. And what I'm impressed with at the moment it sounds all right but it's the lack of vibration there is very little to no vibration coming through the bike and you can see that on the mirrors the mirrors are perfect cobble test done now i thought that would have been a little bit rattly again i'm just thinking old looking bike but no that was actually uh, a nice little ride that down those cobbles traffic oh no let me get round this traffic now that's one thing that the 125 and the smaller engine bikes are just the best at and that is sneaking through traffic so let's have a little sneak through this shall we This is very tight. Oh. It is very tight, but do you know what? When you're on a smaller bike, it is just easier to just sneak through it. And you can see how tight this is. It is properly a little sneaky thing very scooter-esque in fact with the size of it oh, oh the weather is getting awful it's going through the gears nicely as well they're perfect for the little commutes aren't they the perfect really cost-effective way of riding In fact, I'm not stopping on double yellows. I get enough criticism <laughs> online. Right, no double yellows just before the drop curb. Okay, so let's just uh, talk you through this then. So comfort-wise, it's a really comfortable bike, I've got to say. It is going through the gears very nicely. The engine sounds nice and smooth and the brakes work nicely again i'm not doing a big long ride today i'm just doing a bit of an initial impressions ride and it's all right you know On the cobbles again, coming back in. <sighs> okay, so let me just give you the assessment of this bike. So I've gone out for a little ride. I haven't done much riding with it because I know the weather's getting bad and this bike's looking pretty nice. And I want to be, well, I want to do right by and through moto. They let me take these bikes out, but I don't want to get them all messed up and wet and dirty and everything else. I know sometimes it can't be helped, but on days like today, it can be. So let me talk you through it. So I've been on a ride around the local area I've been up to your normal road speeds 
and it's a nice pleasant bike to ride at those speeds now top speed it says is 60 mile an hour i've not had a chance to do that today just because of the ride i've been doing i've just mainly been pottering around town with it but it's a nice ride it's a comfortable place to be yeah you can tell it's on the cheaper end of what motorcycles are because it's only a little over two thousand pound isn't it at 2299 i think it is but for that you're getting a lovely looking old school bike and yeah sometimes it's about more than speed isn't it so it it's a nice bike to ride it's a cheap bike if you want one it's available at into moto but what i will say is the cheap bikes at into moto they don't tend to stay around for long so i don't know how long this is going to be there I, I don't know quite a pleasant little thing this so that's going to do me for today i'll catch you on the next one later